Hi guys, welcome to another Creative Tab tutorial. This is Roto Lesson 3, a little bit more of a fun, more fun project than Lesson 2. Lesson 2 is quite a technical challenge, and if you've managed to do the rotoscoping of the hands on top of the t-shirt, then you'll be well set up for this lesson. If anything that I'm saying in this lesson does confuse you, please go back and look at Roto Lessons 1 and or 2. Um, and yeah, you should then be ready for this lesson. So like I said, this lesson's a little bit of a nicer exercise. Basically, you can tell what we've got. I've changed the colour of the man's skin. Um, but we've got the challenge of the fact that this little girl, um, she walks in front of him, and so we've got to combat that. Now, in order to change the colour of his skin, all I did is, I, if I disconnect this, I took a grade node and I just went to the lift and increased the reds. And, you know, I could have done this with any colour, I just, the red was just first, so it was just easier. Then what I've got to think is it's doing it to the foot, all footage, so my mask input needs an alpha channel to work off, so I've generated that alpha channel, but this time with two roto nodes and a channel merge, and I'll go through exactly why I've done that. Okay, so if we view my channel merge, and I'll explain what the channel merge is and what it does and what it's doing. But if I view that and hit A for alpha, you'll see that I've got the man's arm and legs, um, but you can see that this little girl, as we come to here, you can see her face starts kind of blocking off that bit. So what I've actually got going on is within Roto Paint 2, it's labeled, you can see man, arms and legs. I've animated back arm. So let's have a look at back arm. Let's unlock that. And let's hit Q so we can see back arm is the back of it, the, you know, the arm at the back. So if we turn the alpha channel off, you can see that that's it. So I'm going to lock these now. Okay. And I've just put them in little folders just because it makes it simpler. Um, front arm, you can see I've split that up into his thumb because his thumb at some point, I cannot remember when, but his thumb at some point um, separates off, yeah, it opens up a little bit, so that became a complex shape. So again, it's really important that you split these up all into shapes. So I've got his forearm, I've got his upper arm, I've got his hand and I've got his thumb okay it's really important that you just um, separate them off otherwise as his arm bends and swings you'll have more kind of bits to deal with and it's so if you want to if you want to nail rotoscoping and you want to be good at it which you have to be in visual effects really you've got to know to split it up into simpler shapes okay and then simpler shapes mean less points as well so yeah got his front arm his back leg and his front leg from this, if we just look back, we have got an alpha channel of that, okay? And obviously there's some motion blur on there as well. Um, for the motion blur, I'm pretty sure I've got it on shape in this one, or no, it's on global, okay? So it's on global, so they all have the same values applied to it of 1 and 0.5, all right? Um, now let's have a look at my other Roto node. This is called Roto Cover Up, because we're viewing this rotor where I've said these are the man's legs and arms that I want to colour. If we view our channel merge, you can see there's a little bit of black coming in. Now, why is that? Well, let's have a look. The black bit is by here, a little bit by there, and by there. So let's first of all look at our footage. Well, what's going on by here? Okay, I've rotoscoped, you can see. I've rotoscoped the full arm because this bit of the arm in other bits, so on frame 135, this does come into full view in earlier bits of the footage, which I'm now struggling to find, but yeah, stuff like that. But when we come all the way to here, it's covered up. So without, if, if I used just this roto node as the mask, you'll probably understand, yeah, it's, it's basically including his shorts. It's including this little girl's hand as her fingers wrap around and it's including this, this t-shirt, and we don't want that. And there's two arguments to this. You either create what I've done here, a little cover-up, and use this channel merge to combat that, or as you're, anim as you're animating the roto around his arm, you just kind of, you just stop the roto over there. But you can see the shirt is quite creased, so imagine that line as his arm, frame by frame, moves back, that that's just going to be a real, real difficult pain to, to animate, rather than if you just move this whole roto back like that, and then you, you do the t-shirt separately. Honestly, it's a lot easier doing it that way. Um, so what I've done is in roto cover-up, let's view the alpha channel of this, this is probably his t-shirt, so let's have a look at the name in. I've got quite a few in here. 
Um, man, leg, 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 leg. Man t-shirt. Okay, yeah, so that's, that's a t-shirt cover. Basically, I'm generating an alpha channel where I want to cover up this alpha channel, okay? So if we, let's see where there's more going on, where the girl crosses him. Uh, I think she crossed him quite early on, actually. So let's have a quick look at the footage. Yeah, she crosses him. So I know that I've made his leg, his leg I want to be red. So I know that I've got a, wherever her leg crosses and her dress crosses by here, on this roto node, I've, I've basically created an alpha channel, okay? Saying I don't want her dress to appear all red, okay? Now, let's have a look. I've got an alpha channel then for a dress and I've got an alpha channel for his feet by there. And what this channel merge is doing is the operation is set to minus, okay? So if we go there, basically it's saying A minus B. And what that's doing is this B pipe, which is my cover up, it's then, it's first of all, it's generating an alpha with his arms and his legs, but wherever the rotos from this roto paint overlap, it's cancelling it back out and what ends up happening is let's get where's she crossing over yes yeah, so we've got his t-shirt coming down again it's different from by here basically when it uses this as the alpha channel you can you can see what it's doing her fingers are coming back in and her head but there you know it's it's taking all of that into account okay so then we've got our proper finished um, mask okay and again the great thing about this is now I can come into the grade node ah, let's turn him into the Hulk <laughs> for example and because we've drawn out all this and again the keys are separate as well we, we can now it's 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 gonna work for anything it doesn't have to be a grade you could put a blur in here for example and just blur him his his skin for example you know it doesn't have to be a grade um, but that's basically what's going on in here so I'm going to upload a little I'm going to upload this footage and your task is going to be to draw a roto of his arms and legs to his face if you want to as well um, and then using a channel merge minus A minus B use that to generate your alpha for that grade okay so I hope that kind of made sense for you guys um, yeah, so hopefully I'll see you in the next Rotoscoping Tutorial Lesson 4. Yeah.